Morning everyone, Angus Campbell here, Monday the 7th of October and uh, a little earlier than anticipated the uh, Rima has arrived. Um, so let me get set up here and uh, I'll show you what we've got and how we'll go about this. Okay so there it is, um, 13 sixteenths Rima with a uh, 7 8 OD slider and this is to uh, ream the uh, camshaft bushes so the slider fits in this side and on the far side there we've got the uh, the bush which we think is causing a bit of a problem and just needs cleaning out uh, a little so it's not going to take much to do this but we just needed the right tools to ensure this was lined up uh, because as you recollect, the, the issue we're having is that when the uh, cases are bolted up with a cam in, the cam is excessively tight and it's very difficult to turn. So we wanted to uh, clean that bush out. So uh, what I've done here is um, bolt the cases together uh, with nothing in, all uh, tightened up uh, with all bolts uh, and nuts. Uh, so it's uh, lined up how we'd expect it to be when it's in the bike. And all I'm going to do really is um, probably ha um, use this reamer by uh, hand, um, really, just to uh, see how we get on with cleaning that uh, bush out, how difficult it is. And we might have to get some tools out if, uh, if there's a lot of metal to take off, but I wouldn't have thought so. Um, I just think uh, there's something that's got in there that's uh, maybe scored it a little or... Um, it just needs uh, a bit of cleaning out. So I'll put uh, set you up on the bench and we'll have a look at that. Okay, let's so uh, let's get the uh, reamer and its slider in from this side. As um, this bush is uh, seven seven eighths, then the reamer itself will go through that. The slider goes into the seven eighth bush. And it fits nice and tight. And then we can uh, just begin to uh, gently clean out that bush on the other end. And there's a little bit of work to do. I have all these up well already and uh, just take that out a little then uh, there is a tiny little bit of metal coming off let's just have a quick look at that I don't know whether you can see that, but it uh, it is taking uh, a little bit of metal out of that bush and cleaning it up. So let's continue. making sure it's well lubricated
So I'm going to continue to do this. Um, might take a little while and uh, obviously uh, gradually go a little deeper in. We're probably, let's have a look. We're not far off, uh, two thirds of the way through the bush now. And we know it's towards the lower end of that bush where um, when putting the cases together when the uh, cam really tightens up. So I'll keep going uh, with this and I'll bring you back when we're when I think we're completed. And just take it patiently. So once I'd completed the initial reaming, I then went through a series of iterative activities in uh, fitting the, the cases um, around the cam, uh, taking them apart, um, checking tolerances and surfaces, undertaking further reaming, uh, and also making sure that uh, bearings were, were seated properly. And uh, at the time, I didn't realise that for uh, over an hour or so, the, uh, the camera was running. Um, so here's uh, a bit of a time lapse of what I was doing prior to getting to a position where I was uh, relatively happy with the cam. Okay everyone, I've been experimenting with uh, the reamer, which is here, and actually you, using this in two ways, and that's because at this end of the cam we've got a bearing and with a thrust end inserted from this side, uh, but on the inside here as well we've got the same type of bearing inserting from this side and that's why there's quite a, a broad if you like shoulder for the cam to run on so with respect to the reamer I've been using the guide that way round from the inside to ream as well as obviously turning over if we do this in one hand turning it over and using it from that side on the other side here and um, the cam cam is turning a lot better than it was so that's good news also I've been experimenting as well with the way that I tighten the um, crankcase half bolts and nuts as well and doing trying those in a different sequence and that certainly helps too um, to the extent where in some cases, where the cases join here on the uh, the flange for the the barrel, at the join here, sometimes you can feel a slight lip. Whereas if you change uh, the sequence in which you um, tighten everything up, then uh, as is now, that lip's hardly there. So that definitely does make a difference and I think it uh, it will also improve it once we get the barrels on and pull pull this lot together in some ways um, there's an argument to be said that um, if you can get at certain crankcase half bolts and, and nuts with the barrels on uh, then there's um, A better method of uh, trying to line everything up if you're tightening down the barrels at the same time as tightening up the uh, the cases. Um, so we're we're definitely making uh, progress, and um, what we'll do 
in the next video is move forward then and uh, build up the the bottom half again and I'll obviously document that as we go and we'll uh, we'll see how that turns out so uh, we'll keep cracking patience is a virtue uh, if at first it doesn't succeed then just keep trying but we are making progress now the cam's a lot better and I feel a bit more confident that uh, we can start building this up and have avoided uh, some uh, at least potential issues in the future so uh, that's it for now thanks very much for watching everybody and uh, see you again soon in the next episode thanks a lot cheers